Rock Island's recent plans for development continue to blossom. The city could be home to a new manufacturing facility. It would be at the site of the old Norcross rubber plant on the city's west side. That's tonight's top story. Demolition on that 11 acre site is almost finished. The owner would be eligible for significant tax breaks if a new factory is built there. That's partly because of the high poverty rate in that area. Fox 18's James Sears spoke with the mayor and the property owner. This old rubber plant may not look like much right now, only the tower is still standing. But a year from now, we could see the beginnings of a new factory here in Rock Island, bringing life back to this west side neighborhood. The Norcross rubber plant closed in 2011 when it was bought by a lawyer from Kentucky. Richard Getty tells me tonight he plans to build a 70 to 75,000 square foot, likely metal, manufacturing facility. And he has several candidates, European companies, for this site. Getty says he's done everything he's been asked to do by the city, including paying thousands of dollars in back taxes. Mayor Mike Tomes tells us if this new factory gets built, it'd be a good opportunity for Rock Island. We have we can increase our property tax base, uh, is what it means, and of course uh, add some more jobs. Hopefully people live in Rock Island, or but if nothing else, they're in the Quad Cities. Uh, any new job in the Quad Cities is very helpful. So it helps the economy. Um, it, uh, and positive news uh, brings in more positive things happening. Demolition should be complete in about a month. After that, Getty will be up here to talk financing. If he builds a factory, he's eligible for significant tax breaks for putting money into an area with a high poverty rate. I'm in Rock Island. James Sears, Fox 18 News. And no formal plans have been submitted to the city of Rock Island about this project so far.